And Tower Tower Series 107 Echo Zulu ready to depart 15 left to Burlington. Series 107 Echo Zulu, runway 15 left, cleared for takeoff, and uh, the right turnout is approved. Cleared for takeoff, 15 left, right turnout approved, 107 Echo Zulu. Yeah, it'll work. Three five one, Mike Echo. Uh, you are clear for the option. One five left, and there's an aircraft departing prior to your arrival. Clear for the option. Traffic in sight. One Mike Echo. Caution, under feed. Show destination weather. Tower 351 Mike Echo, ready for takeoff, uh, staying in the tower. Cessna 35 on my gecko, make left or right close traffic, your choice, runway 15 left. Clip or takeoff, wind 120 at 10, now gust. Lake in the Hills traffic. Five hundred. Wellington traffic, one zero seven echoes over short final, one one full stop.
All right, and we are testing uh, visual approach to Timmerman. So right now autopilot is on, 3,000 feet. I was on heading mode until intercept, intercepting the inbound course. We're one five left, and it's uh, doing that. Uh, we are 10 miles, 11 miles uh, northwest. And there's the runway straight ahead. I can see it. it looks like uh, localizer or lateral, uh, you know, we're aligned. And it's looking for the vertical guidance. We're below uh, because we're so far out. But let me call in the tower. Timmerman Tower, Sierra's 107. Echo Zulu is uh, 10 northwest inbound with India. Sierra's 107, Echo Zulu, Timmerman Tower. Straight in runway 15 left, report 3 mile final. Straight in, one flight left, and we'll report three miles for 107 Echo Zulu. That's a 70 Bravo, tax back, runway 15 left, Charlie Bravo. Charlie Bravo, 15 left, 4978 Bravo. All right, so we're flying pretty slow. We're at 55% horsepower, so indicated is about 132. Uh, true airspeed is about 143, ground speed at 131. Outside air temperature is 22. Oops, a little bit of a mess with this. Anyhow, let's go back to the engine page. Outside air temperature is 72 in Fahrenheit. Let's see if we can put this here. I'm gonna have to clean with that after I land. All right, and it seems like we're beginning to intercept the uh, glide slope. We'll see if it commences its descent. And again, report three mile final, and there it goes. It is initiating the descent. Very good. So let's go ahead and help this. Seven miles out. Checklist, in flight and landing, descent. Altimeters, set, cabin, landing lights, field system, check mixture, brakes, next. All right, seat belts on, fuel pump, boost on, make sure flaps, autopilot disengaged, but not yet. Go to engine page. Let's go ahead and start slowing us down. Cessna 70 Bravo, runway 15 left, clear for takeoff, make left traffic. Traffic on final is serious, about 5 mile final, runway 15 left. Clear for takeoff, left traffic, 4 9 or 7 8, Bravo. Sierra 7 Echo Zulu, traffic uh, taking the runway for departure Cessna, runway 15 left, clear to land. And clear to land after the uh, departure on 15 left, 1 0 0 Echo Zulu. There we go, we are on the glide slope at 115, so below flap speed or initial flap speed, 1,800 feet, 1,700 feet. All right, boost on on, make sure for rich. 50% flaps on, the camera might be running out of juice. And we're still uh, on the autopilot. Let's see, autopilot, it's uh, 200 feet, so we'll see. Sierra 7 Echo Zulu, traffic, no factor. 7 Echo Zulu. All right, and we're at 104, so we're below, or we're right at the margin of Full flaps. Thirteen hundred feet. Five hundred. Caps altitude below here. We enter that road. Look for the best. Full flaps. Eighty-five indicated, eighty-three indicated, eleven hundred feet. 
80. Speed protection active. Wow, well, there it goes. Autopilot off. 80 knots, red over white. System 70 Bravo, runway 15 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 15 left, 49 or 78 Bravo. System 78 goes Zulu.